Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam, and today we will learn about umbilical artery Doppler findings in fetal IUGR and distress. Umbilical artery Doppler assessment is performed in the third trimester of pregnancy after 24 weeks to check fetal well-being. Our main focus today will be the spectral Doppler findings of the umbilical artery in normal cases and abnormal cases like growth restriction and fetal distress. First, we will look at the normal umbilical artery spectral Doppler parameters. The normal umbilical artery has a low resistance waveform with forward flow throughout the cardiac cycle. This line is the baseline. It is the zero point. If the waveform is seen above this baseline, it means it is a forward flow. The entire waveform is above the baseline, so it is a forward flow throughout the cardiac cycle. This sharp peak is the peak systolic velocity, or PSV. Here, the PSV is just over 30 centimeters per second. And the lowest point in the wave is the end diastolic velocity, or EDV. Here, it is around 15 centimeters per second. This waveform has a sawtooth pattern or shape. As the pregnancy progresses, the diastolic velocity increases gradually. The systolic diastolic ratio, or SD ratio, is an important parameter in fetal well being assessment. It is calculated by dividing PSV by EDV. Since the diastolic velocity increases over time, the SD ratio will decrease with increasing gestational age. Normally, the SD ratio should be below 4 up till 20 weeks approximately. By 30 weeks, it should be below 3. And near the end of pregnancy, around 39 weeks, it can be around 2 or even lower. These are just approximate values. Slight changes may occur and don't directly indicate an abnormality right away. The next parameter is the pulsatility index, PI. It also helps in evaluating fetal well-being and assessing blood flow in the umbilical artery. It also decreases as pregnancy advances. Its approximate upper limit at 20 weeks is around 1.4. By the end of pregnancy, it can be around 1. The resistive index, or RI, is also another important parameter in evaluating fetal well-being. Normally, it must be less than 0.7. RI also decreases over time. By the end of pregnancy, it can be around 0.6. The umbilical artery Doppler waveform and parameters like SD ratio, pulsatility index, and resistive index can show abnormal values in conditions such as intrauterine growth restriction and fetal distress. In the image on the right, we have a case of fetal growth restriction, or IUGR, which stands for intrauterine growth restriction. If we look at the spectral Doppler waveform in this umbilical artery, we see an abnormality. There is a gap between each waveform. It is because the end diastolic velocity is zero. After the sharp peak, we were supposed to see a small amplitude of forward diastolic flow. But here, we see none. The EDV is zero. There is no forward flow during diastole. This type of appearance indicates severe placental resistance and impaired perfusion. On the left is a normal spectral Doppler study of the umbilical artery in the third trimester. The PSV is 53.2 centimeters per second and there is a sufficient amount of forward flow during the diastole. The EDV is 24.1 centimeters per second. The resistive index is normal. It is 0.55. The pulsatility index is normal as well. The SD ratio is also normal. It is calculated by dividing 53.2 by 24.1, which gives 2.2. 2.2 is normal. 
This is a case of IUGR, and the umbilical artery shows a PSV of 35.4 centimeters per second, and the EDV is pretty much zero. It is 0 0.03. We can see a small gap between each wave, so this is showing an absent end diastolic flow because EDV is almost zero. The resistive index is elevated. It should not be more than 0 0.7, but here it is 1.0. The PI is also raised, it is 1.9. The SD ratio is extremely high because the EDV has a very small value. Dividing 35.4 by 0 0.03 gives 1,180. These readings indicate severe placental resistance. Let's look at another case of a normal umbilical artery blood flow. The PSV is 50 centimeters per second. The EDV is 24 centimeters per second. RI is 0 0.51 and PI is 0 0.75. The SD ratio is 2.1, approximately. All of these values are normal. On the right is a case showing fetal distress. On spectral Doppler, the EDV is present, but it is reduced. The forward flow during diastole is not sufficient. The umbilical artery, PSV, is 39.5 cm per second. The EDV is 5.3 cm per second. The RI is 0 0.85, and the SD ratio is 7.2. Both RI and SD ratio are elevated. They are elevated because the EDV is only 5.3 cm per second. So the reduced EDV led to abnormal values of SD ratio and resistive index. In this case, the end diastolic velocity is absent. It is completely zero. It is of a 28-week fetus. You can see gaps between each waveform indicating absent end diastolic flow. This fetus was suffering from growth restriction. The RI and PI are elevated. And because EDV is zero, the SD ratio will be undefined. When any number is divided by zero, the result is said to be undefined. If you can clearly see absent end diastolic flow on spectral Doppler, there is not much need of looking at the SD ratio and RI values. Here is another case clearly showing an absent end diastolic flow on spectral Doppler in this umbilical artery. It is also a case of growth restriction. Reversed end diastolic flow, or REDF, signifies critical placental compromise. Blood flow is in the reverse direction during diastole. On spectral Doppler, we will see flow during the late diastole, below the baseline. This flow below the baseline indicates reversed end diastolic flow. Calculating RI, PI, and SD ratio is not that important because we can clearly see flow reversal during late diastole, indicating severe blood flow resistance and placental compromise. Here is another case showing reversed end diastolic flow in a case of growth restriction. The PSV is around 40 centimeters per second, but the EDV is around negative 10 centimeters per second. The negative sign would indicate flow in the reverse direction. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more imaging videos.